I'm not elbow on the table because I almost broke it before. I'll do it. <laughs> Welcome to Two oh, Dudes in a Mexican. We're back at Blackjacks. I'm your host, Peter Soprano. To my left, the resident of Mexican, David Quinones. And to my right, Deep Money, Drizzy Dre. Go, people. And, and if you saw maybe a, a fault start earlier, we're, we're restart again. Technical don't difficulties. Play, play. Um, so, we're challenged and, and, ex- and overturned. So, <laughs> so the first overturn you'll see all year. <laughs> all right. So, listen, we're going to jump right back into it because that cut away like five minutes of our time. We saw the beatdown of Ohio State beating down Michigan yesterday. Um, if I'm if I'm Michigan, I can't take that anymore. I got to start over. Dre, what do you do if you're um, Michigan? Do you get rid of Harbaugh now? Like I, I like I said before, we got cut off. I said we keep him again. Um, the only reason for that is because you really, what I said before, you really don't know how good you have it until it's gone, and it could be a disaster once he leaves. If they want to believe and trust in the system, keep him. Otherwise, you want like 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 P said, you want to re- restart, rebuild from scratch. Do that, but that could be a headache. That dude's been there for eight years. That could be a headache. Yeah, yeah. listen, I was going to say I agree with Pete on this one. I mean, listen, how much more time does he need? Yeah, that's true. I agree. So I I think he's been given enough time. He's been given, you know, the support that he needs. Uh, Like I said before, uh, Michigan hasn't got the return that that, that they invested in. Um, I think think you you move on from here, man. Can't argue with that, honestly. Uh, and and yeah, I can't. I just can't. Wouldn't be able to take it anymore. If I, the worst thing to be is a middle tier team, and and if you're the team that's going to be seven and four, eight and three every single year, but you can't get to a big game or you can't win a big game, what's the point? Like, with high expectations too. Obviously, like I said, you know when they got Harbaugh, the expectations were set high. Yeah. Um, he was supposed to be the savior for this program. Turn it around. He hasn't done that. Now, now, the big story of yesterday. Is Alabama wow. lost? Alabama. Their second loss this year, I'm and they will and game. they will not be in the college football Are you playoff. Sure? Are you sure? That I, I'm you guaranteeing sure? it right Are now. Are you sure? I'm guaranteeing it that the Alabama will not be in the Final Four. And first of all, how shocking is that, Dave? Uh, it was, man. I mean. Uh, Obviously, you know, with the points they put up, yeah. uh, you thought yeah, they would exactly. You put up 45 uh, points to your Alabama, yeah, you should win like 45 to 20. I mean, crazy, especially doing it without Tua. But we talked about this, uh, um, you know, uh, earlier in the week. They still had the tools, obviously. The wide receivers are sick. Uh, the wide receivers are studs. <laughs> you know, their offense is, is still a high-powered offense. Um, definitely shocking because, again, you, you if, if, <laughs> if, you're, if you knew you were going to score 45 points, you'd think you'd have this game in the yeah. bag. And they didn't. Uh, very disappointing for Alabama. I agree with you. They should not. They should not be in it at the end. But you know, stranger things have happened, right? I don't know. But that's strange. That that that'll <laughs> no, be completely strange. fucking weird. Yeah. Um, Dre, you saw Alabama. Well, I don't know. If you, did you see that game? I didn't see the game, but I, I was keeping a track of the score and like everything that, like all the mayhem that's, that was unfolding. Crazy. And honestly, yeah, unbelievable. Um, there was a time that 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 Bama had a had a pretty. You know, good lead. Every time yeah. they got scored on, they answered right back, whether it would be a punt return or a pick six or whatever yeah. it was. They always had an answer for Auburn. It just seemed that, you know, Auburn just stepped their foot on the gas a little bit at the end. There was, there was the missed field goal at the end from that Bama's was, part. That dude, was, will Saban ever freaking recruit a kicker? He, They said since he's been the coach there at, at Alabama, <laughs> his kickers have missed more kicks than anybody else in college football. It's insane. He never recruits a kicker. He only cares about getting everybody else. And the kicker always ends up killing him because when he's in a close game, you need that kicker. You have to. I don't know why he will not recruit a kicker. I don't know. Maybe but, you um, should look into the uh, soccer program. <laughs> exactly. Anything. Yeah. yeah. What can you lose? Like, you keep losing. You keep missing field goals, and it's costing you national championship games. Like That's insane. It's ridiculous. That is crazy. Yeah, but, um, but tough loss for Bama, and uh, that's it. Playoff hopes. Goodbye. Yeah, exactly. I, Bama's done. Uh, if, if, they let, if they ever were to actually find a way to get Bama to let in, I would stop watching college football. <laughs> that, that, that's how bad it is. Alabama is done. But with, done. with Alabama being done, we saw the, two of the top four teams cruise in LSU and Clemson. Yep. They, they seem to be still going through. Right now, you got still got undefeated Ohio State. You got undefeated LSU. You got undefeated Clemson. Clemson yep. Who's the best team out of those three right now? Not who's ranked higher. Who, who do you think is the best team? Oh, man, I, I love I love LSU, man. Um, Me too. They, uh, they just got they, the way they've been dominating has has been so consistent. 
the, the, again, their football's fun to watch. The defense, the offense, and bro, the, and, bro, and, bro, bro tied the SEC record, forty-four yes. touchdown passes. Yes. No, obviously, I'm not trying to discredit Ohio State <laughs> and Clemson, though. But yeah. the way LSU's playing right now, to me, that's the team right there that I look at them and I'm like, you know what? I can see them more taking it all this year. All right. What, what do you think? Listen, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I gotta agree. You know, LSU. Um, for me, they're 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 the better team. Uh, Listen, if you look at their whole season in total, the opponents they've beaten, um, how they've beaten them, this offense, you know, Burroughs, you know, being possibly Heisman Trophy winner. I mean, uh, I think I think LSU has to be at the top there. So, um, for me. Listen, I, I think LSU has played the best of everybody, even though Ohio State's catching up. Ohio State's uh, they, great. They, they've won, Ohio State has won two, two straight games against teams that are in the top 15, and now they're going to play one more in Wisconsin. So they, they deserve to be actually in the argument to be the best team. Of course. However, Absolutely. all I heard yesterday, and, and it, it makes sense when you talk about it, is that we want to be the number one seed. Between LSU and Ohio State, we want to be the number one seed because <laughs> we want to avoid Clemson in the first round. <laughs> Clemson has not lost in two years. They won the national championship, blew out Alabama last year. They are still, in my mind, until somebody knocks them off, they had the best quarterback in college football in Trevor Lawrence. Over the last four games, he has 16 touchdowns and zero interceptions. So he's just revving it up right now. I still think Clemson is still the best team. Uh, if I'm putting a bet against anybody, I know everybody's going to bet LSU. They're going to bet Ohio State because they play better this year. I still have my money on Trevor Lawrence and Clemson. So they're still my top team. Can't argue with them, huh? And like I said, they haven't lost in two years. They haven't lost in two years. But now we're coming out of that spot. We talked about those three teams, but there's still one more spot, that fourth team. You got Georgia right now who's sitting there at fourth. You got Utah who's going to move in the fifth now to Alabama lost. And you got Oklahoma that's going to move up right up there to sixth. And – all three of them have uh, championship games next week. LSU versus Georgia, huge game next week, 4 o'clock, uh, and that's going to decide who wins the SEC. We, we, we think LSU is going to win, but if Georgia wins, that, that pretty much assures they're yeah, going to be in. So, oh, yeah. But let's say they lose. Now you got Utah versus Oregon. Oregon, that's another big that's game. That's another game, big game. Could go either way. Airbrick's last college football game, he could ball out and go nuts. And if both of them lose, then you have Oklahoma – in a rematch, Going, in a like rematch a, against Baylor, in a rematch like, against Baylor, yo. And, and who knows? Baylor probably make the make the thing, yo. If we beat them, we should be in there. Like, it's it's yeah. one of those getting a so it's gonna be so good next weekend, championship week. Who gets that four spot, Dre? I'm gonna have to say Utah. Um, again, I, I don't see Georgia being LSU. I'm in Utah and mm-hmm. Oklahoma. Again, they 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 showed that they could be vulnerable against Baylor, and mm-hmm. obviously, you know, Baylor showed to be the more vulnerable. After giving up that huge lead and allowing Oklahoma to bounce back, though, but I think Utah, if they could take care of Oregon, um, I actually like them to squeak in in that fourth spot. Uh, what do you think, bro? I, I mean, mean, what do you think, Dave? I mean, listen, I, I think the safe bet would be Georgia, but um, you know, I don't think that's safe do, at all. Do, they got to beat LSU. <laughs> I was going to say, do they beat LSU? That's the only problem. So, listen, I'm going to go Oklahoma. So, I, I think they have the easier path. You know what I'm saying to make it. Um, because I don't think Georgia's going to be LSU. Um, I don't think Utah's going to be Oregon. So I, I think Oklahoma has an easier uh, path to this. So I'm going to go with Oklahoma. What do you think, Pete? Uh, that, that is such a it's tough, tough – it, it's, it's really tough to decide. Um, <sighs> gun to my head, I kind of agree with you because I, I think Oregon is going to beat Utah, and I think – LSU is going to beat Georgia, so when it comes down to it, I think Oklahoma is going to find a way to get it. What there. if everybody loses next week? Uh, Who makes it that way? I, I well, think but that's the thing. Every well, that's what that's what I kind of brought up Baylor because Baylor was number nine coming in this week, so they probably move up, they probably moved up to number eight. They have the right to claim. Listen, we just beat the team that's number six. Everybody in front of us lost. Why shouldn't we be why in there? Be so right. that that's the only <laughs> team that I think. All right. Would you put a Baylor team in? And it's tough that you're going to put a Baylor team in after they went one and one with Oklahoma, the team that they're beating. So, so is there a way that Georgia makes it if they lose? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, I don't think. And I don't think any team with two losses is out of check. I've always said that every single year about the about the college football playoff. If you get if you want to be in the college football playoffs, don't lose twice because if you lose twice, I, I don't think you have a chance at all. But and and. The team, another team that had a chance to be in that college football playoff, and they would have been a team that would have been in if they had won their last two games. 
and a couple couple losses. Minnesota, Minnesota got beat by yeah, Wisconsin yesterday. Was oh, Wisconsin. That was so wait, 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 wait. let me interrupt oh, this real quick because I, I have to. There we go. To, who picked Minnesota uh, last week and who picked Wisconsin? <laughs> the resident Mexican. Did, 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 <laughs> yeah, baby. He did. He did Again. pick Wisconsin to win that game. And why did I say? Why did I say? It? Why did I say? It? I said two words. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, boy, Mr. Taylor, baby, Mr. Taylor. <laughs> Taylor, Taylor had another game. I think Conde, Conde. Like, TDs I think like, and, uh, like one and draft over 15 hundred draft fifteen total yards. Over hundred total yards. Well, listen, he, and he's put up he's put up some he's really beast. good he's, he's put up some beast. really good games. By the way, go on, and we looked at it yesterday. Go and look at J.K. Dobbins some of his games oh my God, against good teams, ridiculous. whether it's MSU it's or, or what, yesterday, yesterday with his two hundred and eleven yards, like and four touchdowns. Go and see some of his stat lines, and and the thing about it, he's. Projected to be a second round pick in the NFL, he's going to be a stud in the NFL. So now that we have the, now that we have our selection for the Final Four, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, and, and you and you think Utah. Now it's championship week. We'll get to that next week. It's going to be a huge oh week God. on Wednesday. We'll be talking about all those championship games because it is star studded. Like it, to have a number two team versus a number four team. In a championship game before the college playoffs, Crazy. like it's just not, LSU, the, the LSU you game and Georgia of, game is gonna be nuts. It could change a lot. The LSU and Georgia game is gonna be nuts. But it's Sunday football. We got about 15, 20 minutes to get to these. Let's quickly go over the Thanksgiving Dun. games. Well, out of the three games on, on Thursday, any of them shocked you? The, we, we had Buffalo beating Dallas. We Buffalo. Had, we had, Buffalo. We had, we had, go Buffalo. Go Buffalo. Yeah, we did have that. <laughs> and then we, had, we obviously had Detroit Lions and Bears, which played kind of an ugly oh, game. But Bears found a way to win that game. And then Saints hard. versus Falcons. Any, any surprises? Not really. I mean, I, I think I think that's what we picked, I think. Um yeah, because I, I know yeah, I well, the Bears. I had Detroit. I mean, yeah, I, I, yeah. Mean, I, I didn't really. Yeah, I didn't really care for that game. Um, that was a game we didn't care about. Yeah, <laughs> obviously the Dallas game could have gone either way. Um, oh, you listen, be surprised. I think, man. I think, I'm surprised think, by I, that one. I, yeah, but I think Buffalo. Listen, you know, people have to really, really take Buffalo serious now. Listen, that defense. They need to take my guy Josh Allen serious. Defense, Josh, Josh Allen. Man, I've been telling people kid, about him. That kid is kind of like, and I hate to make a comparison, but he's kind of like yo, <laughs> he's yo, kinda like Trubisky. He's kind of like Trubisky. Oh no, no, Whoa. he's making he's making headway. He's Whoa. making headway, bro. Yo, Trubisky isn't making any headway. No, no, no. Last year he looked pretty good. He was, right. he was going in the right direction. Listen, I, I think Josh Allen, he's improved. He's going in the right direction. Well, what do you want me to use? Goff then? If, if, Goff, if, Goff if, is if, doing better. I mean, God, you know, he, he, he's, listen, he's looking better and better. I think he's got a bright future as long as, you know, Buffalo can get some more playmakers on that team. Um, but you've got to take Buffalo serious now, I think, with that win. So that that's, listen, going into Big D, winning that game. On a short week. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, and, Thanksgiving, and they week, dominated them. They, they, they blasted them. They proved them. a lot to me. They proved a lot to me in this game. Like, like, like you just said, Dave, Thanksgiving Day, which is always a big game for, for Dallas that day. On a Thursday at home. We're on. on a short on a short week, uh, you Dallas be, lost. We talking about this shit. <laughs> you got to be impressed with Josh Allen. They made Jerry Look, Jones walk I've out always, the damn stadium. I, I've always been a fan of uh, Josh Allen. I love the way he's progressing. He's progressing into a really good QB. If he just had more weapons, I think it could be a dangerous team though. But they got the job done and they got it done in spectacular fashion. After the comments that came from Mr. Jerry himself, you know, bashing his his, his coach. So you, you, and everybody would expect. I think he's gonna be fired. So, so everybody, so everybody expected at least Dallas and and and, and, uh, uh, what's his face? Um, Hopefully, hopefully Vic isn't right and they hire Lincoln Riley. But, (laughs) but I think he will be fired, dude. Don't mention that name here. (laughs) (laughs) Lincoln Riley. Like I said, after everything happening, I expected you know Jason Garrett at least come up with a better game plan than what he did. No, I didn't expect anything. You know, I I, I didn't really expect anything either. I mean, um, no. But the point is, is that every. Everything, everything, all, everything was against everything was against the Bills for them to win, and again they found a way to get it done, and in an impressive fashion. So credit to them. Listen, like I said, I've, I was one of the few people that actually liked Josh Allen coming out of college. I've gotten into a lot of heated debates with people, social media, and everything that hate that guy. He might have the best uh, arm in the league. Oh, he, he has a monster arm. And he's his athletic. athletic. He's you, you can't teach he's that combination of a monster arm and being that athletic. So the one thing that comes to mind when I think of Josh Allen was last season when they were like an eighteen point dog in Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah, and Josh Allen just himself personally just you know, show yeah, leadership. Yeah, he did it by himself. Stepped yeah. up, yeah. And, and sometimes with no, all the time when you need 
games like this, you need playmakers. And when the QB can step up like that, they're just showing early signs of huge success in the future. And with a team that lost, you know, Shady, Sammy Watkins, oh, man. I mean, yeah. and he's still able to, 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 to play at a high level uh, in a division that's, that's you know, it, it's, it's not an easy division. I it's mean, not. you've got the Patriots. I mean, the Jets have been obviously, you know, you know, up and down. And um, Washington, but, but still. That, that's, that's, that's not an easy It's like everybody else yeah. in New England, but so, they're not that far away from New England. Nope. So, so with that said, uh, and we got, got the Thursday games out of the way, everybody had their food, watched the Cowboys get beat up. <laughs> now we're on Sunday, fun. game of the week, Baltimore Ravens, Woo! San Fran. Great game. Great game. We talked a little bit on Pete's Corner. Uh-oh. What do you think happens in that game? <laughs> He's got the flag. What I think happens, <laughs> like I said. You might as well throw it now, producer. Uh, <laughs> look, like I said, East Coast game. The weather right now. I'm looking outside the window as we speak. It's ugly. It's cold. It's wet. It's cold icy. inside. We're inside. And it's cold. Um, the only way I expect Baltimore to win this game is if they went over the top and pounding San Fran with um, points. Here, here, look, here it comes. San Francisco. <laughs> here it comes. Has the better defense and has the better run game. Very low scoring game. I expect them to pull this out. Very low scoring, ugly, Ooh. hard mouth game. San Fran wins this, covers this game. Oh, wow. Double the yellow flag. And the red. Double oh, flag. man. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Double they, flag. Dave, what, what do you think about that game? Listen, um, I, I, I've been high on San Fran. Yeah. Um, like I told you guys, I, I think they're the best team in the NFC right now um, with that defense, <laughs> with that running game. Can't boo the champ, baby. With that said, I'm going with Baltimore there you today. Can. <laughs> I'm going with Baltimore today. Oh, oh see. Um, listen, uh, again, oh, I don't shit. care what you guys say. <laughs> just messed up the producer. <laughs> and say, listen, coming from West Coast to East, I think it's going to be a problem for them. This cold weather, it's going to be nasty. Listen, we're playing in Baltimore. They're playing at home. I think Lamar Jackson, it's, it's all on his shoulders. Mm-hmm. They have a good running game also. So uh, I have Baltimore winning by three in a close game. It's going to be a sloppy, sloppy game. I think it's going to be back and forth. But I think Lamar Jackson, that running game, gets it done uh, today. I can actually see that because um, San Fran, uh, it, despite how great their defense have been, they haven't really gone against a running quarterback. So they could have problems with Lamar Jackson. Um, I think this is a game that can go either way. Um, I'm actually going to pick San Fran to win the game, uh, even though I think, it, like I said, it's going to be a close game, three point type game. So either way, jeez. <laughs> why, why I get the loud boo? You got the loudest boo. Why I get the loud boo? What the hell? All right, so yeah, I, I think it'll be a three point game either way. Uh, Double fly. Six, well, everything else coming oh, up. The, the, the bag belt, too. Listen, you got the mustard listen. bottle on. Oh, <laughs> all right. All right. All right, listen, we're, we're going to have to get, get everything back in <laughs> control now. Here, yeah, we need security. <laughs> this isn't security! right. But, yeah, I, th- I think San Fran wins this game in a close game. But, I, like I said, I can see Baltimore win it. It's a six-point spread right now. I think they'll definitely be I think it's six. Close, yeah. so, Mr. Flip-flop, which so, way are you going? I said San Fran. <laughs> I said San Fran. <laughs> I said San Fran. Yo, this is not Peace Corner. It's not a betting show. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it's a three-point game. I'm analyzing the game. So, now – now that we talked about the game of the week, what other game do you want to see? What game are you most interested in seeing this week? Um, I think. Uh, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> no, I had to think. Technical I, 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 was, I, was, I, was, I was I was looking at the game, you know, before the show. So, um, you know, I was thinking of of, of, of what team like really needs a win. Um, in my opinion, I think the Texans really need a win today. Um, no, they don't. Fuck them. I, 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 here's the problem. He's like, get out of here. Game behind them. Fuck Deshaun, them. Listen, Deshaun Watson, you know, looked so good last year. Um, you know, I feel like he's kind of taking a step back this year. Mm-hmm. I think that team is so talented, though. It's you know, they've had their ups and downs uh, this season, especially with that ugly loss to Baltimore. Mm-hmm. But they came back. They won last week. Um, listen, this is th- this is an opportunity for them to make a statement. Especially against a Patriot team who, you know, people consider, you know, probably the best in the league. Probably, you know, maybe going to the uh, uh, Super Bowl this year. I think, you know, the Texans really need to win this game. I think they can turn their season around. And 
be a contender if they can win today. So I think that's probably the game um, I'm, I'm interested in, in watching. What about you, Dre? What game do you want to see? Me, I, look, I'm gonna be biased. I want to see the, re, the the revenge <laughs> game the of the of the Pittsburgh Steelers against the Browns. It's a very interesting game. Again, you know they they they, they bench uh, Mason. They once they put in Devlin in. You know, they started moving the offense. Could the could the Browns sweep the Steelers after decades? I mean, it's possible. I'm not saying it's impossible because they, they have been playing really well lately. And if they do win, they're getting a step closer to, to a potential playoff spot because now they, they break all tiebreakers, and, which includes Pittsburgh, Indy, Tennessee, all of them. So, again, including myself, I've been making fun of the Browns, but if they win today... They they, they kind of shatter Pittsburgh's hopes for any playoff potential and that's they, their Super Bowl. And, <laughs> they did it. And, that's what and, they want to do. And, and, and they kind of shut everybody up. That's been you know clowning on the Browns, talking about oh you were supposed to be the playoff teams. Well now they have a shot to step up and actually make it happen. And I'm also interested to see how Tomlin reacts to Freddie Kitchens in this in this Browns team. I mean he's been impressive after an 0 3 1 and 4 start, losing your starting quarterback, losing Le'Veon Bell, losing A B. It's been a whirlwind. No no Juju Smith, no James Conner, but somehow he has got this team to go six and five with the number six seed spot in the AFC. I'm curious to see how Tomlin and this defense reacts at home against a Browns team that's been playing really uh, good football. So. Uh, again, a lot of playoff impl- uh, implications in this game. And, again, I'm being biased, but this is a game I'm really looking forward to, other than the San Francisco-Baltimore game. That's been yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah, though. we got to remember, Dre won a time with fire. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but I did. But, 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 I, I, but, but, now he's praising him. Yeah, exactly. No, but, you know, you gotta, done a good job. Tom, but and, I'm, not, I'm not that ball hurt fan, and i gotta give fi- I got to give credit where credit is due. So, again, he, sh- he did shut me up. And this goes back to when we were talking about Harbaugh in Michigan. Sometimes, you know, when you have a coach and you criticize him, you can't, you know, you can't take it for granted because once he's gone, who knows what can happen. Listen, I I agree with Dre. I want to see Cleveland versus Pittsburgh, but it's because I want to see a fight. I want to see a fight. I want to see I want to see somebody get hit with another helmet. I want to see Dang. somebody get suspended. Oh, I, I want to see a fight happen today. I want I want to see Antonio Brown walk out on the yes, field. That's yes. what I want to see. Yes. I want to see it. I want to see complete in a Brown uh, uniform. In everything. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes out. Everybody with a, like what the fuck? I want I want to see everything happen today. I want complete chaos in that I game. I want to see Antonio so, Brown come out in the Browns mascot, they're, they're, take they're, it off. And they're, they're, they're already wearing they're wearing uniforms like it's Halloween. They're wearing shirts and everything. Yo, I want to see everything. Come out on the field today. It's a but, joke. But, but no, I want to see it happen in real. So, with that said, we got to move on to the team well, that. What's your game first, of the week? Actually, well, you know, you never really mentioned the game. No, I said that one. I said the oh, Cleveland Pittsburgh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I want to talk about now a, what team needs to put up or shut up. This, we're getting we're in week thirteen. As you talk about the playoffs are few, five weeks away. What team needs to put up or shut up, Dre? Wow, that's tough. Um. The, the one team I was looking at right now, which I'm looking at them, and after Monday night, I think their playoff hopes is done. So Rams is out of the picture. Um, <laughs> the one team that needs to put up or shut up right now for me, it's tough. But I'm gonna have to say Philadelphia Eagles again. I know, I know it's, a, I know they're in a division mm-hmm. which uh, an eight and eight uh-huh. record could win the division or whatever. But <clears throat> again, it, it's, it's time for them to put up or shut up. They won the Super Bowl. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> they won the Super Bowl two seasons ago. That. Look, they won the Super Bowl two seasons ago. Everybody's high on Wentz. I don't like Wentz. I don't think he's that good. I like Wentz. I um, but now they have an opportunity. After, after Buffalo just smashing the Dallas Cowboys, for Philadelphia, I know they're going up against Miami, but they have a they have an opportunity to not just get a momentum going, but a momentum going for the rest of the season that could potentially lead them to their uh, to division champs. I think it's time for them to you know step up, and I want to see them show. You know, I want to see something from them. Because, again, you know, everybody's been praising the Eagles as if they were still this, uh, you know, same caliber of the Super Bowl champs, which I, I don't think so. But, again, this is an opportunity for them to, to today to, to blow out Miami in, 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 a, in, a, in a huge fashion to show me, look, guys, we're still here. Playoffs is around the corner, and we're in it, you know, to win it. Dave, what, what team needs to put up a shutout? I, I said it before. Uh, listen, I, 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 think the, I think the Texans, listen, uh, Again, this is an opportunity for them to make a statement to say, listen, we're here. We're a playoff team. Um, we're as good as last year. I think that, that team is too talented not to do good. Um, again, against the, the you know the big uh, brother of the Patriots. So we'll see if they can get it done today, uh, later on tonight. Uh, but again, I, I, I think their, their season has been a little whirlwind. They've had ups and downs. Um, 
this is an opportunity to make a statement today. Listen, the team that I want to say put up or shut up <laughs> is my team right Tennessee here. Titans. The Titans have won four of their last five. They're, go- they're going against the Colts. <laughs> yo, whoa! Get out of here! Whoa! Listen, nice that's, timing. That's dis- I like it. That's disrespectful. That's, awesome timing. that's disrespectful. I like it. I like it. Listen, Titans awesome. won four out of five. They're going against Col- Colts team that no longer has Andrew Luck, who owned them. They no longer have Marlon Mack this week. They don't have T.Y. Hilton. They don't have Eric Ebron. Half their team is going to be in the injured list a- after this game or before the game. So if you can't beat Indianapolis Colts and try to get yourself right there with the Texans, right there with other playoff teams, I mean, you're in a spot right now where if Cleveland does beat Pittsburgh and you win your game, you're in that sixth spot. Like, yeah. you have a chance to grab, grab a hold of that last playoff spot. So the Colts are like a wounded animal. They are. They're saying. completely wounded animal. Then, like, Tennessee can't if, if, the, 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 the end Tennessee season. <laughs> and the crazy, they can't win tonight. The, the, the crazy thing about it is that if Cleveland happens to beat Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Cleveland both at 6-6, six and six, Tennessee wins. Now they bump up to the uh, six uh, seed in the in the AFC, yes. which holds that second spot in the wild card spot. Again, a lot of implications if for some reason Oakland can win or or, or whatever. To me, this is a you know put up or shut up. Because I expect Kansas City to Kansas City to beat Oakland, so that'll knock them down one notch. And I picked Cleveland to beat um, Pittsburgh, so that'll knock them down one notch. So this puts them alone in the sixth spot if they win this game. They have to find a way to win this game, no matter what. Everybody is primarily healthy. Delaney Walker hasn't played all year, so I'm not even really going to count him. Everybody else is completely healthy. Everybody's playing today. They have to find some way to beat the beat the Colts, even though they've been dominated by them in the past. So with that said, we will catch you on Wednesday back at, back at um, Bogies in Clifton. Hump day. And enjoy the Sunday football games. Get ready Get ready for us to Each preview, wings, preview the college money. Be a polished football next Any week. Championship week. Dig in. Listen. Woo! The champ is here. Hey, hey, hey. The champ is here. We'll catch you guys on Wednesday. Peace. Peace. Hey, yo, I love this sound bite. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that, you know, Dude, that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> the timing, too.